Good afternoon. Let me just make sure that I am live. Give it a couple of refreshes here. And it looks like we are good to go. All right. Good afternoon. Carol Buckaloo with Inky Bee Stampers. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, so, <laughs> my camera view has been really funky. I am going to move my camera up just a little bit. And hopefully I don't make anybody dizzy. Hey, Karen, thanks so much for joining. So I've got this thing now with Facebook when I go live. It looks like, uh, it looks like actually my video is delayed today, but it, I have all of a sudden this wide view and I don't know why. And I, I think I've got some time here at the end of the week and I'm going to try to figure out how to do YouTube lives. Like right now I can see that my stand is in the way here, but hopefully it doesn't obstruct your view. Maybe if I move my glass mat over a little bit, that might help. Uh, yeah, but I don't know what's going on with my camera view. Uh, it's my phone, but uh, anyway. Uh, so today I have here um, a card. It is a Z-fold card. And if you've never made a Z-fold, super easy to create. But you can see why it gets its name as a Z-fold. Uh, and it is just a piece of 11 inch by four and a quarter inch piece of cardstock. And it is scored at two and three quarters and five and a half uh, to make these folds. And I've decorated it up here with the Splendid Autumn six by six designer series paper. This daisy print, I think is a favorite of a lot of people's, but I just loved it. And I wanted to kind of showcase it on a card. Um, and so this is what I came up with. So let me set this out of the way. And so the products I used as mentioned is the Splendid Autumn six by six designer series paper. This paper is just absolutely gorgeous. And I'll take a few out here and just kind of fan it. On the back side, we've got corner, kind of a more sedate print, um, but then the front sides are, you know, just beautiful uh, to create cards with. And these are the kinds of cards when you use this paper that they kind of, um, they kind of create themselves. They're just beautiful, beautiful paper. Uh, I love this one with all of the purples. Um, but anyway, so Splendid Autumn. I used the Autumn Expression stamp set. I did not use the dies uh, that go along with this stamp set today, but I did pull in the Cheerful Daisies dies, and these are in our annual catalog. But when I saw the daisies on the paper, um, I thought it'd be real pretty to put some daisies on the front of the card. You might have noticed that my card does not have a sentiment on the front of it, uh, and that's on purpose. I didn't really want to distract from all of the uh, pretty paper. So I chose to just put my sentiments on the inside. Hi, Faith. Thanks so much for joining. Um, I am going to pull in a scrap piece of paper. So it may be hard to see on my sample card here, but I wanted my daisies to look a little bit distressed. And so I'm going to do some ink swiping with my stamp pad on some basic white cardstock. And then I'm gonna apply a little bit of water and it creates a really um, fun effect, super easy to do. Uh, but I am going to use wild wheat for that. And I'm gonna to need to make sure I have my wild wheat re-inker because I will tell you that when you do this, it's gonna suck a lot of ink out of your ink pad. I'm gonna use a paper towel just to kind of hold the corner of that cardstock while I swipe this. And um, trying to get an even coat of ink on here. But I just wanted to show you how to do this, um, you know, and, and how easy it is. Um, I already have done this and already die cut my top daisies um, with this treatment. Uh, but so I've swiped my ink pad. If it's super even, it doesn't matter. Uh, and then I've got a little container of water here 
and a paintbrush. Whoops, sorry. And I'm just going to flick some water spots here. Um, just dipping my brush and kind of flicking it um, all over. Well, I keep hitting, see my stand is lower than normal because I've been trying to trying to get my view just right. And then you can come in and just kind of dab, you know, some spots on here. But it creates, you know, this, this would make an excellent background uh, for a card as well if you wanted to do that. Now you do need to give it some time to dry. Um, you know, uh, you definitely want to give it some time to dry. I'm going to cap my water here so I don't spill it uh, because I could see that happening. Um, you know, so I basically just swiped it with the ink pad, dotted it with some water. You can blot it, you know, kind of with your paper towel. Actually, not much ink came up at all. But the water does a real good job of uh, creating those spots instantly. And, um, you know, but you want to set this aside to dry, which I'm going to do now uh, because I've already created my daisy. So let me do that. And that'll be another card that I can make. I'm going to bring my sample card in here on the side. And let me find all of my little pieces. Here they are. And we'll get those out. I've got a little bit of stamping to do on this card. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get that done. And then basically we can start assembling this card since I did pre-die pre cut. Uh, that is always helpful. I am going to stamp my sentiment in um, Mossy Meadow. And I have two sentiments here from the Autumn Expression stamp set. And the first one says, Dear Friend, and the second one says, you've got this. So this is um, just a nice uh, encouragement card for for somebody that may need it. Maybe somebody who's, you know, going through cancer treatments or just a difficult time, whatever the case may be. And I'm going to line my panel up here on my grid paper and go ahead and stamp this off. So this card will... Um, be on my blog tomorrow as part of the Happy Ink and Thursday blog hop. So all of the dimensions will be available on my website tomorrow um, if you'd like to recreate this card. And then I am going to stamp the wheat image from the Autumn Expression stamp set. And this is such a beautiful, beautiful image. So our, uh, our theme for the hop tomorrow is... Um, is a color challenge. I'm going to bring my scrap paper in here real quick uh, because I'm going to need to stamp off. Um, but I am going to, I don't want to get my cardstock in that wet ink because it may still be wet. But I'm going to first generation stamp this wheat image here on my cardstock. I'm going to stamp off one more time and then I'm going to third generation stamp that image. It's very light when you do that, um, but I think it's really pretty. I really, really, really like it. So let me hold it up there and see if you can see that lighter image in the corner there. Uh, just gives it a really nice soft look. And that is the inside panel. Let me do the same to the envelope front. And again, I'm trying to maneuver my scrap paper so I do not get ink um, all over my envelope. Oh, and that totally didn't stamp right, but you know what? I'm just gonna stamp it again. I think it'll look fine. Yeah, you know what? I'm absolutely okay with that. And then third generation stamp it one more time there in the corner. All right. You know, sometimes with stamps, um, if you don't get a real precise image, sometimes it looks just fine. You know, I, I think we tend to be harder on ourselves than we need to be. Um, okay, so that is the envelope. Let me get this set aside. Give that ink a chance to dry. I'll bring our card base back in. And so what I've done here is I've got two panels with the DSP. And you can see that I've cut them to size and they 
you know, the panels are continuous so that when the card is closed, you know, that, that pattern will continue uh, across the card front, which I kind of like. Uh, so let me go ahead and get these uh, glued up and put onto our card base. This DSP Faith is just so beautiful. I, you know, Stampin' Up! has really been hitting it out of the park with these beautiful landscape papers. And I think what's so great about them is that whether you're an experienced stamper or you're a beginner stamper, they're great for everybody. Um, just so beautiful. Like I said, you know, the paper's so pretty that you you basically, it just makes the card itself. Uh, and I And I love that option because we don't always have time to be super fussy um, when we're making our cards. I know I can be super fussy about card making, but, uh, and you too, but you know, it's just nice to have that easy option and it's always beautiful. Um, so I really love that Stampin' Up! gives us these pretty papers to use. I'm starting to become kind of a paper hog. <laughs> I need to, I do use my paper, uh, but yeah, I got a lot of it, that's for sure. Okay, I'm just matting these to Wild Wheat, and then I've got a panel of, um, this is the Designer Series paper as well, and this is in Cherry Cobbler. I ran out, my original card has the Wild Wheat panel on the inside. I ran out. I ran out of my uh, Daisy paper, so this panel's going to go on the inside. So let me go ahead and get these panels on the card. You're, you're tempted to hoard the paper. Yeah, I hear you. I, I actually, I run out of space, so I try not to hoard it. And then when the paper is retired, because I have a blog, once the paper is retired, I cut it up into six by six pieces, whatever I have left. And, um, and I just use it that way, you know, uh, for, for personal cards, not non-blog cards once it's retired. Alrighty. And I'm going to go ahead. Now I want to fully close this base because I want to make sure that I've got an equal reveal here on the top side and bottom. Um, and that my panels are lining up fairly well because, see that just moved, that's why I like liquid glue, um, because we need to make sure we're leaving room on the inside of the card for our inside panel. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, we can open the card up now, and I'll go ahead and get this cherry cobbler panel put in. And again, I'm just looking to make sure those panels are kind of even going across the top there. And that looks pretty good to me. And we can go ahead and get our inside panel in. And I'll tell you, this, this went really fast. Of course, I did the pre-die cutting, but once you've got your die cutting done, this goes fairly quickly. And then when you're putting the inside panel in, you want to make sure kind of hang slightly to the left. And again, I'm looking for that equal line there across the top from all my panels. And I just want to test close that card and make sure that I can't see that inside panel. And that looks good to me. I'm going to leave it right there. And that will be good. Just making sure that glue has had time to, um, to set. I've had glue shift on me before, and I definitely don't want that to happen. Let me make sure. Okay, that's still good. All right. So that is all the panels on our card. Super easy. Well, let me bring in all of the pieces here. And I'm going to grab these Cheerful Daisies dies. So the distressed, um, the top portion of the daisies, the distressed portion of the daisies. Um, and you can see that they've got their little little spots on them, um, so they look rather weathered. Um, I use the detailed die here and here uh, from the Cheerful Daisies dies for that. 
And then for the two solid daisies that sit underneath, um, I use this large die. This die cuts out three flowers and two leaves all at one time. And so I just cut this from regular uh, wild wheat cardstock. I am going to use my paper snips to trim away the pieces I don't need. You most definitely can save those leaves uh, to use on your project. Uh, I did not, but that's okay. And so they're connected here in a few spots and I'm just making sure when I trim these apart that I'm getting that nice rounded edge on my daisy. There we go. So there's one and let me get this one cut apart. So we are enjoying some really outstanding weather here. Um, it has, when I got up this morning, it was 57 degrees. I couldn't believe it. It's August. <laughs> August, that's like our hottest month. And it has just been, it's been lovely. It has been absolutely lovely. All right, so I want to make sure I'm not throwing away my pieces I need here. Okay, we look good. Just going to scoot that trash off there to the side. And then I also use the Cheerful Daisies to cut out these kind of feathery um, leaf sprigs. And that will go on our card front as well. Now, these die cuts have little dots in the center. I chose to leave those on my flower. Um, and all I'm going to do here is uh, kind of line these up somewhat. And let me see if I can get them lined. It, they do line up. Um, there we go. So it goes like that. Let me get this glued together here real quick. Oh, you know, before I do that, let me line up this small one. So on low in the 90s, Faith, well, that's better than the temperatures you've been having. I know that you've had some horrible heat um, this summer. All right. So on this small daisy, uh, I did not cut a center for it, but all I'm going to do is take my uh, dark cherry cobbler stamp and blend, and I'm just going to kind of stay where those little dots are, and I'm going to draw the center of my flower in with my stamp and blend. Get it nice and dark there. And then I can go ahead and adhere my little daisy uh, to its bottom portion. Yeah, we're going back up into the 80s here over the weekend. Um, I think tomorrow, beginning tomorrow maybe, and over the weekend. It's going to go back up in the 80s, but we have just had some really beautiful um, couple of days here. It's just been... You know, the sun's been out. It's been nice, cool temperature, so so really, really lovely. And I'm just going to kind of line those up and let them kind of stick together. I am going to curl with my tweezers those top little petals up just to give them a little bit of dimension. Uh, and just the long ones, the short ones in the front, not so much. Um, so there we go. And then... Go ahead and get um, this larger daisy put together. Yeah, 70s in New Jersey, too. Isn't it beautiful, Karen? I mean, it's such a treat uh, to have this kind of weather in August. August is always our hottest month in the summer. And um, we got all of our heat, I think, in January. I mean, because September is right around the corner. That's hard to believe. Um, yeah, and... It's, it's just been kind of backwards a little bit, the, the weather. So I'm just using a little bit of glue uh, around that center portion and go ahead and get my flower lined up and just kind of press that down together. And then I did cut out one, um, one flower center and that is going to go right in there and I'm just gonna go ahead um, July is your hottest month, Karen? 
Oh, it's kind of opposite for us, um, but we're both on the East Coast, so that's that's different. But um, yeah, usually August is when we, it's consistently in the 90s, um, sometimes in the hundreds. And we kind of had that weather in July. It was really crazy. Just not the norm usually. Alrighty, there we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and give that top layer of leaves just a little bit of a curl if I can get them, <laughs> if I can get them to cooperate. Um, I just like the added dimension that that provides. There we go. Maybe not worry about those little short ones. They're kind of hard to grab. But anyway, there we go. All right. So let me get these dies out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I am basically, um, so our little pieces here, and these sprigs are very delicate, so you do want to be careful. But what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of adhere those towards the center, and they will be falling off that front flap. This one will get glued down over here. Um, but let me go ahead and get a little bit of glue on these and get these adhered down. Uh, and then I'm going to apply just a little uh, short piece of ribbon. Um, and adhere a little bit of uh, a little bit of ribbon as well. So I just want these kind of one pointing up to the right and one pointing down to the right. Let me get a little bit of glue here. And I'm just, this is a new bottle of glue. I'm trying to be easy with it so I don't get a whole bunch everywhere. And this one we're going to have pointing down this way. I'm going to grab my stamp and seal. And I'm going to just, I'm going to run right over these sprigs I just glued down if my stamp and seal will cooperate and it looks like it is cooperating get my cap back on and let me find my ribbon so this is the wild wheat um rustic striped ribbon uh it's it's got a woven center so it is transparent in the center, it's a very soft ribbon. It does tie a nice bow, but I'm I'm not bow tying today. So I wanna cut off just a short piece. Yeah, this is nice ribbon. I really like this ribbon. I do need to get my, my ribbon scissors out because um, I will need to trim this down here in a minute, but I'm just going to adhere that to the stamp and seal. Now I can put my, um, my small daisy on. I was just scrolling the comments to make sure I didn't miss anybody. I usually have more people popping in here. I guess everybody's tied up today. All right, just a little bit of glue on the center of that small flower. And I'm gonna hold my large flower up here. And let me put that right about there. So I'm using my large flower to kind of determine where I want that. And that looks good to me right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just apply some Stampin' Dimensionals on half of this daisy. Um, because part of it is going to be, um, will be falling off the edge. So just uh, see if I can get these positioned just right. You know what, I think I need to cut that down. Grab my scissors. because we don't want our dimensionals uh, to show. I like to cut my dimensionals in half. Um, I just, number one, it's it's more economical, but number two, uh, they just fit good. And then if you have to cut them down, that's, that's okay too. All right, let me just check maybe one more right there, small one. Get all this cookies off my scissors. And uh, let me 
just use this small speed, small piece and see if it will fit. Now I've got dement, whoops, got dimensional stuck to me. See if that'll fit. I think it will. All right, let me get these covers off and we'll go ahead and get our daisy on. So uh, for the month of August, don't forget that if you earned bonus day coupons in July, you need to redeem those coupons uh, before the end of August. So by August 31st, you will need to redeem those coupons. And I'm just going to set my daisy down here right over top of those, um, those leaf sprigs and my smaller daisy, so it's overlapping and uh, just kind of curl up. I, I just smushed down my petals. We'll get them kind of fluffed up there again. And also in the month of August, you'll, um, you'll wanna check out the uh, Designer Series paper sale. You can get information on my blog, uh, but certain Designer Series papers from the annual catalog are 15% off during the month of July. So be sure to check that out as well. Uh, let me see here. So that is our card. And I like it equally with the, um, you can tell me which you like better, the, the wild wheat insert or the cherry cobbler. I kind of like them both. Uh, I think they, they both look equally nice um, because all of these colors, these colors are in the paper as well. So... Just just a beautiful, beautiful fall set. Love this set. All right. Um, and my card yesterday was with this set as well. Um, I'm trying to get some use out of it because it's just so darn pretty. All right. We've got the envelope left to do. And what else do I need to tell you? Um, uh, Paper Pumpkin, the September Paper Pumpkin Kit is Autumn Abundance. And that paper uh, pumpkin kit makes a total of nine cards, three each of three different designs. It looks really pretty. So I'm looking forward to receiving my kit. I just got my August kit put together and that was, that was also pretty. I'll be sharing that on Friday with you all. Um, you know, but August is a good time to join if it's something that you've been considering. Um, and if you join now, you will get early access to the uh, products from the upcoming September to December mini catalog. Uh, that catalog will go live on September 4th uh, for customers. You know, but if you're thinking about joining and have questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to chat with you. Um, but I'd also love to have you join my team. Once you join, um, and you can you can add the the upcoming um, products to your starter kit as well. Uh, but once you join, then you get twenty percent off your orders, so it's a good deal. And we have a no pressure team. There's no pressure to sell. Uh, you can join just for the discount for yourself. And uh, yeah, just drop my paintbrush. That's all right. So this is today's card, a very simple Z-fold card um, with the uh, cheerful daisies dies and the beautiful uh, splendid autumn paper. Just love that paper so much. It just makes for a beautiful, beautiful card. And that's it for today. And I actually got done on time. How about that? All right, everybody. Uh, listen, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Uh, have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will see you back here next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Take care. Bye-bye.